with nearly 600 flights arriving and departing daily, maintaining airfield pavement is essential to safety and efficiency at Portland International Airport. After close to 40 years since its last rehabilitation, Taxiway K was ready for restoration with Tappany Incorporated serving as a general contractor. We're tearing out the old, we're putting in new, and it's all got to be completed in five and a half months. All in all, the project needed 48,000 tons of asphalt, 13,400 cubic yards of concrete, 5,160 feet of piping, and 50 full-time employees on Tappany's field crew. With extensive experience in piping, grading, and asphalt, Tappany was the perfect fit for the job. My role as project manager is to oversee all financials for the project, develop an overall schedule, and make sure that it gets executed, and deal with any major problems that transpire. The unique aspect of this project is the phasing of it. So you're dealing with 12 total work areas. Part of those 12 work zones are in phase one, part of them are in phase two, part of them are in phase three. It's like a chess game, because a lot of the work zones aren't connected to each other. So you'll finish in work zone seven, and your next preceding work, it's a quarter mile away down the taxiway. So it's, it's definitely a unique challenge. At PDX, the security protocol extends far beyond the terminal. Security gates and vehicle escorts add a layer of complexity to the job site and create longer cycle times for trucks. Trucking and logistics in and out of the port is, is a big challenge. You can't just drive into the airport and dump a dump truck. You know, a lot of that planning starts months before you're even setting foot out here. My role was logistics, manpower, equipment, make sure we had the resources to be able to complete the job on time and on budget. You're pre-planning the logistics of moving parts, the trucking, the equipment, everybody coming in and out of here it has to be on cue. You can't, you can't miss a beat. And so it's being able to shift with the, with the many moving parts. Working in a busy airport environment demands focus and diligent adherence to safety from every team member. Safety is really, it's the culture. It's who we are. And it's very important to us that above production, above getting things done, that our people are taken care of and they go home safe. Do it right. It comes down to daily meetings. I mean, you know, precast plans every day. So everybody that's out there in the field they know what to expect, they know where they're gonna be on the job, they know the risks around them, and everybody's on that same page. So your head's always on a swivel. You know the risk of the area you're working in, and you're prepared, you have the right tools, you have the right equipment to stay safe and do it safe. Meeting spec and tolerance requirements for the Port of Portland was critical for a quality end product. By focusing on recycling and materials management, the team developed a strategy that aligned with Port of Portland's end goal of incorporating existing materials back into the site. The specifications for the Port of Portland are very exact. You can't have flaws in a taxiway. And those specs are there for a reason, and the port demands excellence. Airfield work is way more technical. Uh, it's way more fast-paced, schedule-driven work. You don't get too many delays out here. The nice thing about working with Tappany was they're one of the few contractors I work with that I can count on to be ready when they say they're gonna be ready. What makes them unique is that they're willing to listen to their subs and take their sub suggestions into play, and that goes on every job they have. Having that good relationship with them that we can communicate, talk openly, there's no egos in play, makes it really easy. With a focus on teamwork and commitment to safety, Tappany completed construction with a final budget of 16.6 million and 24,000 man hours. You know, you can order all your stuff, you can think you have the best laid plan, and something is gonna change, and so it's, it's being ready for that and having a plan B and a plan C and being able to shift with the many moving parts. We felt great at the end of this project. The Port of Portland was fantastic to work with. It was challenging at first because they demanded excellence and they demanded us to perform and, and meet the schedules, and, you know, it was a relationship that grew in trust and it's turned into two more major projects with the Port of Portland. You know, and one of the things they said to us is we want to make sure you guys are back out here. We like what you guys did. You guys did it right.